Cats are cute, cuddly, and a lot of fun. But if you have never lived with a cat before, you may be in for a few surprises. Here are 14 things I wish I knew before getting a cat. Number 14. Cats are not low maintenance. The first thing you should know before getting a cat is that cats are not as low maintenance as you may have heard. These animals require a lot of play, stimulation, and enrichment, especially if you're adopting a kitten. Kittens have a lot of energy. That is why many people suggest adopting two kittens rather than one. Having a buddy to play and interact with can go a long way towards keeping your indoor cats happy and stimulated. Otherwise, you'll find yourself having to entertain your cat all day and night. Keep in mind that it's not enough to simply provide your cat with lots and lots of toys. They need attention and plenty of human interaction as well. It's important to provide that for them to prevent behavioral problems, but also so you have a happy cat. Number 13. They are crepuscular. Another thing you need to know about cats is that they get very active at night. Cats are crepuscular animals, meaning they are most active at dawn and dusk. So, don't be surprised if your cat gets crazy zoomies and starts running around the house and jumping on your face when you're getting ready to go to bed. Likewise, expect to be woken up at 3 in the morning by nighttime vocalizations. To make sure your kitty sleeps through the night, play hardcore with your cat at least an hour before you want to go to bed to make sure that they're tired. This will help them sleep all throughout the night. Number 11. They are insanely obsessed with their humans. Cats have a reputation for being aloof and antisocial, but they are actually very affectionate with the people they like, and they need regular social interaction with their human. Of course, this has to be on their schedule. Don't be surprised if your cat drops a toy on your head at 3 a.m. or knocks your phone over when they decide it's time to cuddle. Many cats will follow their owners from room to room because they look to them for love and company. And when it's time to bed down for the night, they have to be on the bed near their humans. Number 9. They bite you often. Unexpected biting, even while your cat is playing with you, is a very common occurrence. Cats bite for a variety of reasons. They may bite out of fear, to assert dominance, or to demand attention. Cats may even bite you to show you affection, but often with gentle and more controlled nibbles. But remember, never use your hands to tussle or wrestle with your kitten, as that may teach them inappropriate interactions such as clawing and biting at human fingers. As kittens get bigger, their bites get harder, so it is not a good idea to let your pet play wrestle with your hands and associate your skin as a toy. Number 8. You will need to start in a small room. Keep in mind that it is normal for cats to hide for the first few days because they are yet to get accustomed to all the new sounds, sights, and smells and warm up to their new environment. When you bring a new cat home, it's important to put them in a small enclosed room or area and make sure the area is kitten-proofed. A smaller area allows you and your pet to get to know each other without your cat running away and hiding. This will also help them learn where their litter box is so that they can learn where to go to the bathroom. Number 7. They get into everything. The next thing you should know before getting a cat is that they get into everything, like your drawers, the dishwasher, sinks, or even chimneys. It's really easy to lose a cat, so you may want to get a collar with a bell on it so you can keep track of where your pet is in the house. Number 6. You have to trim their nails and they hate it. Your cat's claws will grow long and sharp, so you will need to trim them every two weeks. Another thing you need to know is that many cats turn into a crazed animal at the sight of the nail trimmers. This is why it's really important to introduce nail trimming to your kitten's routine from a very young age and make it a normal part of their month so they get used to the procedure. Some people use cruel tactics like declawing, but declawing is torturous to cats. It would be akin to cutting off our fingers at the last knuckle, leading to pain and mobility issues. It can even breed a sense of feeling vulnerable or defenseless. Keep in mind that for cats, scratching is a natural, primal behavior. It's unrealistic and unkind to try to prevent your feline from her own nature. Number 6. You will need to set up a schedule. Cats are creatures of habit, and they depend on us to keep their surroundings stable and predictable. Whether it's something seemingly minor, like switching their cat litter over to a new brand, or a big change such as moving house or welcoming a newborn into the family, 
any change in their daily routine or environment can cause them to stress out. That is why keeping to a daily schedule is important. Feeding a cat at regular times provides the security and predictability of a routine. Keep in mind that cats are notorious for vocalizing when they want things. So if you start feeding your kitten at 6 o'clock in the morning, they're going to get used to that schedule and start screaming and waking you up at 6 o'clock. Number 5. Milk may upset your cat's stomach. Although feeding cow's milk to cats is thoughtful as a pet owner, it hurts them more than it helps. This is because most cats are lactose intolerant. In fact, they will have a stomach problem within 10 to 12 hours after consuming it. Number 4. You don't need to buy them expensive toys. You can buy your cat some really cool toys, but most cats find more joy in playing with simple household items like toilet paper rolls, boxes, crumpled papers, hair ties, and socks. Give these objects to your cat and they will love you for it. Number 3. They chew up everything. The next thing you need to know before you adopt a cat is that cats can chew up your plants, cords, wires, you name it. Some plants are toxic to cats. Removing toxic plants from your house or moving them to a room where your kitty doesn't have access to is the best way to protect your pet as well as your plants. Among the most toxic plants are daffodils, English ivy, azaleas, calla lilies, aloe, begonias, and ficus. On that note, keep in mind that cats get into everything and on everything. They tend to knock over everything, including cups, plants, candles, and their water bowl. If you have fragile items around, make sure to remove them and kitty-proof your home. Number 3. Clay litter is not the best choice. Many cat owners use clay litters, but clay litters produce silica dust, which can be kicked up and breathed in, causing respiratory problems in both you and your pet. Clay litter also often gets stuck to the cat's paws and is then tracked around the house. In addition, the clay litter is mined from the earth and is not environmentally friendly. There's also lots of toxins and chemicals in the clay litter. Pine litter or wood pellets are better alternatives. These litters smell good, they are compostable, healthier, less messy, and they effectively control the odors. You can find these litters at a significantly lower price point than clay litters. So, if you want to save a lot of money on cat litter, consider this as an alternative to traditional litter. Number 2. You will need to say goodbye to your blinds. For cats, a window perch can be an endless source of entertainment. They will spend countless hours sitting on a window ledge, watching the world outside. Make sure to leave your shades open for their benefit. Number 1. You will need to keep your windows closed. Windows without screens pose a great threat to your cat when they're open. Every year, animal hospitals treat cats who have fallen from great heights, often out of windows of multi-story buildings. Make sure to keep your upstairs windows closed when your kitty is around. 